So this morning I actually delivered a single pulse response presentation. And essentially a single pulse response is a blink of the eye diagram. Yeah, we know that an eye diagram is a concise version of PRBS. To know what a channel would do to different signals, we don't know what data is going to come in. So we decide, oh, we just okay, we can send in some random, pseudo-random bit sequence to see what's going to come out. Now, that's a lot of bits, a lot of different pulses. So what single pulse response is doing is taking all that thing, every all the complica complicated data into one pulse. We look at the single thing to reduce the complexity and see how the channel would affect this single pulse. The important thing about the single pulse is the rise time of the pulse and there's the, the width, which is the bit rate, the unit interval. Right? So if you want to send a really, really fast, say 50 gigabit per second, then there's a bit interval. And once you send that pulse through the channel, then it depends on how the, the pulse is de uh, deteriorated. Right. You can kind of see, oh, is this going to work for 50 gigabit per second? Yeah, it, every, everything is included. Everything yeah, so you start out with, I'm going to do a different direction. Here's the channel in the middle. We ascend the pulse from, from the left. It has a very nice width and it's sharp rise time. Right. Well, once it goes through the channel, the channel has some loss. So if you, if you look at a single pulse and you, you mark the maximum as the cursor, Anything before that, using unit interval, is a tab. So a tab in front is a precursor, a tab behind is a postcursor. So by determining the tab values, you can change the equalization and bring the, pa bring the pulse back to the nice eye. It's interesting that you ask because essentially a single pulse is 2, DD, two TDR, 0 to 1, and then delay 0 to minus 1, and then you have the pulse right there. So that's what I did actually in ADS. I shoot a zero to one, zero to minus one. That's how I create a single pulse. And you know, you can look at the impedance discontinuity, control line impedance. Even more great is you can look at the crosstalk, and the crosstalk between two lines, and that's very crosstalk important. Crosstalk between one channel and and the other yeah, that's channel, right. And exactly. The channel, exactly. Maybe one differential pair and another differential pair. Exactly. Pair yeah. I would suggest, as a board designer myself, I've designed test boards and before I started, I didn't really understand a single pulse, a single pulse response, let alone a signal, signal integrity. But the more I learn about signal integrity, the more I understand all the inner workings of the trace and the signal and the return and the electric currents. So there's a lot more than just trace that meets the eye. You're not just routing traces as a designer. So I would suggest all the PCB designers to learn a little bit about signal integrity because that would dramatically improve how you're thinking about designing. And to, to plug over here, I write a blog called Tim's Blackboard. I'm responsible for that. And if you do a Google search on Tim's Blackboard, that's the first thing that pops up. It's got a lot of great educational content. I strongly suggest you check it out. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. To me, DesignCon is a... Wow, it's new technology, old friends. It's, it's a clash reunion of the signal integrity industry. And more than that is, is, is a knowledge. You know, you see a lot of knowledge and people are really supportive here. So as, uh, when we're pushing forward the boundary, it's important to have the comrades that's helping you, supporting you. So you know we're all in this together. We're helping the world move into a better place. So to me, DesignCon is it's a wonderful place. Five star, two thumbs up. I'm still doing my PhD, so for my thesis, I had to design some test patterns. I'm working on measurement and simulation correlation. So to do that, I need some test patterns. And Sierra Circuit is, is a great design and then manufacturing uh, facility to, to do that for me. And then after the, the coupon is manufactured, I use my text fixtures and key site equipment to measure it. So it, it's a win-win situation.